Welcome everybody. Let's take a look at what happened in the market. Look at the weekly, look at the daily. We'll look at the trades of the day on the intraday charts. Let's get started. This is the weekly chart here. This is the candlestick for this week. Just getting started. Little tiny doji practically. Um, for the week, it's opened up at 52.40 and a half. It closed at 52.43. Of course, today's just Monday. And you can see there's some resistance up here at 52.85. Top of this candlestick is 52.64. Man, that market just seems to be hanging out right there for the last couple trading days, last Friday and today. Look at this, trying to go big boy, boom, boom, boom. This is flattened out. Okay. So the question is, will it get above this 52.85? Well, eventually, probably yes. Right at the moment, not clear. But of course, for members, pay attention to, the, to tonight's email and I will give you my opinion um, for tomorrow, that is. All right, we still have this cycle all set on here at June 16th. You know, um, there's about a month left for for this type, type of time frame. Um, but I would say this cycle is definitely starting to run out of time. And as far, since we're pretty far to the right on this big cycle and this blue cycle, um, whatever break we're going to get here, probably going to be, probably going to be short lived. Okay. So there's still, is, is the market going to pull back in here? I think so. I think there's going to be some kind of pullback, you know, then again, we could, could just get a pause, right? The market could just pause here maybe one or two weeks of pause and then bam, you can do like that, that, and boom, you never know. All right. So we'll keep an eye on what's going to happen here at the market. I just don't think whatever pullback we get in here just may not be as big as, like I said last week, as big as we originally thought. Okay. If we see the next two weeks, three weeks, whatever, just kind of pausing the market, especially if the market gets above this 5285, then that's going to be a different, possibly a different story. Okay, let's take a look at the daily chart. All right, so here we are on the daily chart. You can see Friday was the doji. Today was practically a doji. Okay, and a couple, uh, one, two, three, four days ago was a doji. A lot of dojis popping up here. Okay, um, today opened up at 52.40, and of course we saw, already saw the weekly close to 52.43. Since today is Monday, they're the same. But look at this. Market's trying to roll over. We got positive momentum on the daily chart, so you know, can't ignore that. Okay. Um, you know, back here on this little cycle low that we had sitting right there, the market just paused, right? That's what those two candlesticks were. It just paused and then went up. So, you know, kind of hard to tell. Is this kind of a pause continuation? Then we're going to get more this way. Okay. Or is the market finally saying, okay, now these are basically spinning. I call these spinning tops. Okay. Spinning tops. You see spinning tops like that, which we had them back here and now we got them right here. Yeah. Usually that's a sign of weakness when it's at the top of a trend. Usually spinning tops like that are weakness. Okay. So we'll see. We've had massive, absolutely ooge um, geomagnetic magnetic storms over the last uh, week. And they're probably going to continue for the next day or two at least. Okay. Really, some of the biggest solar flares we've had in the history of recorded history, anyway, it happened in the last few days. So it's been wreaking havoc on communications and. Uh, I think we're going to see a fallout from that magnetic storm and it can play out in a lot of different ways across the globe. And, you know, does it affect the market? It may, it may actually affect the market in the strangest of ways. People just don't understand that they think that's all just pie in the sky mm -hmm. theories, but, um, you know, don't be surprised if the market does some odd stuff. Okay. But just looking at this right here, this looks, looks like a sign of weakness. We just have to determine, you know, sometimes, like I said, you'll see a pause like that. You know, and the market will jump again. Here was a pause and the market had a big down day, right? 
um, considering where this is at, March 13th, we got May 20, I mean, sorry, May 13th, we got May 28th. Yeah, it could definitely be a sign of a pause and a sign of weakness, sign of weakness, excuse me. So we're kind of in a wait and see mode. This looks a little bit like the market wants to give it up. The market wants to give it up. But we'll 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 keep track of this to the very end of this cycle out here. All right. Either way, regardless of how much this pulls back and you know whether this part pauses and takes off or pauses more and then takes off, you know, or starts to come down and then takes off, probably going to see some kind of rebound out here going into summertime. Okay, over here the mini the mini death cross I call it uh, the twenty day moved over the top of the fifty day. It's not a really big deal, uh, but it does show that momentum was you know the market ran out of gas here, right? Ran out of gas, and we got the crossover. So uh, I could see the market run out of gas again up here. Okay, let's look at the intraday charts and see where were the trades of the day. All right, so this is the five minute chart. We're looking at the entire future session from there to there, 20, basically 23 hours. If you look way back here, let me just stretch, pull this in just a little bit. Last Friday, there was a signal right here, right at the, just before the close on Friday at 350. And believe it or not, that was a signal. Look at this signal, it was actually really nice. And the market just absolutely responded to this all overnight, look at this. Just kept going up all overnight. Look at that, all the way to pre-market. What a huge move. So if, you, if you're paying attention to the market late last Friday, um, there actually was a signal here, okay? Now there was another decent signal really early this morning at 3.40 a.m. right here, nice little signal. Let's stretch this out a little bit. So I said time and time again, futures really are the product to be trading. They just, you can trade it 23 hours a day. And here it was right here, 340, 345, 340, 345, 345 AM right there. We get the signal. There's a little kind of hard to see that candlestick. Like, let's stretch it out some more. Let's stretch it out some more, shall we? Yeah. Yeah. So there's the, there's the candlestick. Oops, go back one. This thing's being weird. Really talking about this candle, this get us plus indicator right here. Little dinky candlestick right there, and bam, thing was just gone. That was a good, um, if I'm not mistaken here, and this was a good, well, 20 total points, so good for about 16 points maybe. If you're up overnight trading this, really nice too, and it was very smooth. Very, very smooth the whole time. Momentum was slowly gaining through the early morning hours into pre-market US. So super nice right there. Really nice trade. Okay, let's take a look at the rest of the day over here. From the US market, pre-market to regular session, uh, intraday session. Now this signal is really hard to read. This is not an easy signal to read, but believe it or not, this signal right here was a, was a good signal for going short, but not an easy read. We're over here at the bottom. Momentum was going negative, but a tough read to understand the market was gonna go down, okay? So I wouldn't call it the best of trades. And really there wasn't a whole lot going on here during the intraday session. I mean, you can tell at this point, this was up here about 52, uh, 52, and it got really realistically the low was about 52.40. There was a couple candlesticks here that got really low, okay? But just not easy to trade this whole intraday session, just kind of garbage, slowly giving it up throughout the day, right? Just not super strong. The big the big signals were, were overnight, the early morning, three or four o'clock morning signals were the best place to trade futures today. And really was the best trade, period. 
just period across the 23 hours by far that was the easiest thing to trade um though i do want to look yeah let me look at something there was a little something at the end of the day that could be traded so we'll look at this right here it wasn't huge but it's worth mentioning is this one right here at 235 and yeah, for those that are for the for the vultures who are picking the the last of the meat off the bone there was a nice little trade right here and this uh was just worth a cup you know small amount of points here but this ran from about i'd say 5245 down to about 5243 so this was about two or three we'll call it three points but three points believe it or not is um still pretty good money depending on your position size there's i've made I've made a few hundred dollars many times at the end, the very end of the day. Okay, uh, the futures just opened up again. That's 5 p.m. here, Texas time. You can see here's a candlestick on the five minute chart. So we're just getting futures getting started. And we'll, whatever, I might even, I might trade tonight. I don't know yet. We'll see. So those are the trades of the day. Stick around to the very end if you want to know how to become a member. Uh, for the rest of you, hope you enjoyed the video. We'll talk to you, the rest of you again tomorrow. Okay, so if you want to become a member, that's awesome. There is a um, discord.com link in the description just below this video. Now, there's some instructions there, so make sure you read the instructions, okay? Once you've done that, you can click on the discord.com link. It brings you over to get a server. Then click on server shop. And it's going to bring you this page here. Okay, $7.99, guys. You know, invest in yourself. Spend three months, 25 bucks approximately. Okay. This is crazy, crazy cheap. The service is awesome. You got streaming charts down here. This is the um, S&P 500 charts, five minute, 15 minute, and the one hour. And there's also alerts that go along with that. So whenever that, we as we looked at the trades of the day on the five minute chart, you notice that get us plus indicator I was looking at. Well, that indicator will send alerts from the, those streaming charts to this channel here on the Discord server. So you might wanna right click on this, turn alerts on, notifications on, really nice. I'll also stream gold. And I have a few members that trade gold, you know, almost every day. And uh, they've gotten pretty good at trading gold. And I, I trade gold occasionally. So if you want to trade gold, gold futures, then when you join, just ask me in the member chat, hey, get us where is the link for the gold streaming charts? And I'll give it to you. Okay. And guess what? It also has its own alerts. So if you're going to trade gold, you can just right click, turn notifications on for gold. You can turn these on and off anytime you want. Okay, so if one day you're trading gold and you want to be bothered by S&P 500 alerts, you can just right click and turn them off, on and off, whatever you want. Okay, there's some other alerts here too. These these don't have streaming charts. Okay, but you can still get alerts for them. You can, if you want, you can turn them on. Okay, but the bread and butter really is the S&P 500 uh, intraday charts. Although I shouldn't say intraday, they're futures. They're they're up 24 hours a day, five days a week, both the S&P 500 and gold. The only time that they're not streaming data is when the market's closed for one hour each day from like four o'clock to five o'clock uh, Texas time. Or, uh, yeah. The rest, other than that, they're trading 23 hours a day. That's what's great about futures. Even if you're not trading futures, you can still use that data, right? So it's super helpful. Okay, premium symbols. I saw a lot of symbols in there today. I have a, an algorithm that goes out and picks up symbols, okay? And I put them in here every day. There were quite a few symbols in here. So the market, is showing signs of weakness. What I've been doing this a long time. And when I see a lot of symbols show up, I know the market, something's going on in the market. There was a lot of industry showing up in there. Of course, there was optionable stocks in there. There was, um, let's see what else, shorts in there, quite a few shorts. So when you get that many shorts on the list, that tells me the market is, is weak, okay? So you might wanna check out the premium symbols. They're really nice. There's some, some really good symbols in there. Can they get us only posts? This is where I post the link for the video I'm running for the members every day. So you can watch the daily video Monday through Thursday right in this channel, okay? And every night I put out an email and I also post, I post the notification of when the email goes out in this channel. So for most members, you probably wanna turn this on. So just right click and turn notifications on in that channel. All right, speaking of emails, nightly emails, when you join, put your email address in here, okay? I don't automatically get it from Discord. So if you want to get in the nightly email, just drop your email address here in this emails only channel. And you're going to, every night, Monday through Thursday, you're going to get the S&P 500 daily chart. It has the cycle, daily cycles on there, really nice. 
It has the support and resistance lines in there, which is really nice too. And I usually give two or three sentences minimum of my opinion about what I think the market's going to do the next day. So a lot of people join just for the email. Okay. Some people join for the streaming charts and the emails. Some just join for the emails. Okay. All right, I talked about solar activity earlier in this video today. We had a lot of solar activity and uh, the impact it has on the earth, communications, um, human behavior, animal behavior, even market behavior. So I keep track of that. One of the biggest solar storms we've had in recorded history has happened um, this last few days, last week, and a little bit into this week even. And a lot of people live in the north. I've seen the, what they call the northern lights over the weekend. Big green, glowy skies. So that's because of the geomagnetic storms coming from the sun. Electric universe, guys. We live in an electric universe. And then uh, those that are big bang theorists, uh, well, you need to catch up. Okay, and this is regular uh, chat channels. These two up here where all the chat happens from members. So... If you, want, if you have support issues, you just hit me up in member chat. Hey, get us. I have a support issue. Just hit me up in there. Just think about this. This is everything you're getting for the $7.99 a month. Everything in this vertical rectangle. That's a lot. That's a huge value. Okay. I mean, guys and gals, I make most of my money from trading. I don't make it from the, the, uh, running the, uh, the membership. But I provide the service for, for people because, like I said many times before, I remember what it was like to be a really small retail account. So uh, I like to keep things affordable for people so they can come in and use the service to their advantage. Okay, last thing we'll talk about is the rules. You got to know the rules. If you break the rules and I'm going to be in your face, it's going to be your fault because you didn't read the rules. Okay, so in here is the refund rules. Make sure you read it. There's also the rules in here that I'm not a financial advisor. Okay, I only give my opinion. Everything on this server, no matter who's posting it, me or anybody else, is strictly educational purposes only. Okay, no financial advice is implied whatsoever. You are responsible for your own trades, guys and gals. Okay, this is an awesome service. It's going to probably help you make some really good trades. Okay, but you're responsible. All right. And lastly is uh, rules in there about be nice, be respectful on the server. Don't post foul language. I won't tolerate it. Don't post dirty links to dirty content and dirty, nasty stuff. I don't want it on my server. If you do, you're going to, you're going to, I'm going to remove it and I'm going to warn you. Yeah, if you keep doing it, you're going to get kicked. If it gets bad enough, you're going to get banned. All right, so don't do that. You've been warned. Okay, be nice. Be kind. We get into some some heated debates from time to time, but we try to keep it civilized, okay? All right, that pretty much covers it. Hope everybody had an awesome day. Today, the uh, SP 500 was a little bit choppy, kind of a smallish range. There was a little bit of opportunity there. Gold actually had a lot of opportunity today. Oh, my gosh. Gold, gold pulled back quite a bit throughout the day, so there was a lot of opportunities there. All right. Happy trading, everybody. God bless everybody. We'll talk to you all real soon again next time.